Welcome to Rex Pine CV. I'm Nia Seymour. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may not be seated. Today is Friday, February 10th, 2023. Now let's take a brain break. Follow the bee on the screen. Breathe in as the bee moves up one side of the square. Hold your breath as the bee moves across the top. Breathe out as the bee moves down. Then hold your breath as the bee moves across the bottom of the square. Let's practice together. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Breathe out. Hold your breath. Wow, that was so relaxing. Let's check out our Black History Spotlight with Aiden. Thank you, Nia. Good morning, Patriots. Today we are spotlighting attorney and Supreme Court Judge Thurgood Marshall. He served as the first African-American Supreme Court Justice for 24 years. He was a towering figure that won 29 Supreme Court cases as a lawyer prior to becoming a justice. A fun fact about Thurgood Marshall is that his birth name was Thurgood, but he shortened it because he got tired of writing out such a long name in second grade. I think I might do the same if my name was that long. Now let's see what's cooking with Zarmel. Thank you, Aiden. Today lunch is meatball sub, mustard, garden salad, ranch dressing, fruit cocktail, potato wedges, Italian combo and crazy roll, chicken and pepperoni sub, and your tissimo. Students, keep in mind that lunch can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Nia. Thank you, Zarmel. I can't wait for lunch. Scholars, please continue to pass those lessons for this quarter's instructional software challenge. Take a look at the flyer to see what is required and have them done by March 26th. I know you all could do it. Patriots, it is important to make sure you all follow the cell phone policies. Please keep your phones shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget chewing gum in school is not allowed, so please don't chew gum in the building. Scholars, keep participating in our Black History Month calendar. Today, you all got to wear your Afro-Caribbean culture attire. And on Monday, you can wear a crown with school uniform for Black Excellence Day. We all have a school full of royalty. Students, the Patriot store is open every morning for you to spend your Patriot dollars. Monday is the first and second graders' turn to buy some cool items at the Patriot store. Make sure to bring your tickets. Monday is the last day to play for the Sweetheart Dance. It will be on Friday the 17th at 6 p.m. for middle schoolers only. I can't wait to see you all there. In K-5, there's a dance for you, too. The K-5 Valentine's Dance will be on Tuesday the 14th for $5, so make sure to dress to impress. I know you're all excited to laugh and play with friends at the next family night. It's going to be our off the wall, so prepare to have fun and check the fly for some more details. As most of you know, our Pines cheerleaders had a spirit week this week. Let's take a look at some of the highlights.
Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Alexander. Thank you, Nia. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is expected to be a nice 84 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. No rain is expected this weekend, so make sure to make the best of it. Now let's go to Melanie for Let's Talk. Good morning. My name is Juan Idris, and welcome back to Let's Talk. Today we're here with our 7th through 8th grade teacher and cheer coach, Ms. Stone. Hello. How are you today? I am amazing. Wonderful. Two weeks ago, we had your cheer captains here, so we figured we're bringing their head coach. Makes sense, makes sense. Speaking of cheer, how do you juggle teaching two grades and being a cheer coach? Well, I thrive in chaos, and so that's the main thing, um, but I don't do it alone either. Um, huge shout out to Miss Velez, because if it wasn't for her, I, I probably wouldn't be able to do what I do. You and so. Velez work as a duo, and it seems to work out really good. We are definitely, yeah, no, we're, we're a power team. <laughs> <laughs> Today is the last day of Spirit Week. Woo! How do you think that went? Was it a good experience for our school? Um, I think that it went well. It was our first year. It was our first time kind of taking over. If we are awarded this again next year, we're going to make it bigger and better. Um, but for our first year, I definitely think we did we did well. Did you like seeing the cheerleaders coming in? Yes, I had really fun with Spirit Week this week. <laughs> it was really fun. And the dress up days, come on. Right. My favorite was the student teacher swap. Me That's too. my favorite. That's my favorite. Do you have any hidden talents or hobbies that you would like to share with us? I don't I don't understand why sleeping is not considered a hobby. It definitely should be. And the fact that I could literally sleep anywhere, regardless of the conditions, that is a talent. That's a talent. I don't care what anybody says. Right. It's a talent. Good answers. Now let's go for a lightning round. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> what are the best and worst purchases you have made? Uh, best purchase, by far, were the Bruno Mars tickets that I just bought. I just came back from my trip. Amazing. And worst, um, I don't spend my money on things that I don't want, so I don't have a worst. What world record would you like to have a shot at beating? I think the longest nap ever. Because I consider a nap anything that starts before, like, 10 p.m., you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'll sleep from, like, 10 a.m. to, like, you know, 6 p.m. That's a long nap. That's not night-night time. That's what could you eat for a week straight? Oh, steak and lobster. Pinkies up. I am fancy. Let's go. <laughs> if you could keep any animal from the zoo, which one would it be? Okay, so I've thought about this a lot. Obviously, well, not obviously. It would be a giraffe. But I have a plan because I could potentially ride it to work because I have the only classroom with a door. So it could just, like, I could prop the doors open and then, like, my giraffe could just, like, be there. And then I would have it, like, you know, to take care of it. But I want a draft. They are fantastic. Outstanding answers. Thank you for joining us today. Pages, make sure to say hello when you see Miss Stone in the hallways. Now let's go back to Hendrick. Thanks, Melanie. Today's birthday boys and girls are Lila Pena, Alexander H. Pierre, Ariani Canty, and Ezekiel Silveria. And for our weekend birthdays, Chanel Bailey, Kamor Johnson, Hannah Tavares, Kelianis Carreras, Ian Ernest, Viviana Yuseke, Dakota Berry, Adrian Camacho de Leon, and Brianni Kaplan. Happy birthday, now let's go back to Nia. Thank you, Hendrick. Now let's see what is going around our school with news around the school. Oh, I'm 
That was awesome. Teachers, please continue uploading any interesting photos or videos into the News Around the School OneDrive folder so we can keep highlighting everything going around our school and in your classrooms. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Sheriff, Ms. Sands, and Ms. Greg. You all have a correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, which was the first country to use paper money? The correct answer was China. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. Please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone on RPTV would like to wish you all a fantastic Friday. And remember, here at Pines, we are going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!